Jilsey, the whole world is gonna know the name Simon Studowitz. It says here the swords were sold to C. Ebenezer Burns. Burns? The evil industrialist who makes coal out of babies? <gasps> I know just where to find him. Ebenezer Burns? Yeah, he's over here. How you doing there? Fresh in your pipe? Anybody need to let me down? Whoa, whoa, heads up there, buddy. A uh, rat's gnawing off your toe. <sighs> the Sword of Osiris. I once possessed the entire collection. Then I sold them all for opium. Oh, how I wish I had them back to sell for more opium. Who did you sell the swords to? The fat man with sideburns. I... That one over there. There's your mutton chop murderer. Stop, fiend! That will be rude. Hey, hey, read the sign. Well, well, what have we here? Inspector, you've caught the villain. But what are you doing in an opium den? Uh, it's the only way I can get Ralphie to go to sleep. I can make opios! Well, Dr. Bartley, another mystery well solved. Yes, with the murder behind bars, London's working girls are free to follow their merry calling. <gasps> Yet another sword of Osiris! But that must mean the murderer is still at large. Uh, he could have killed this one days ago. The body is bloated and the face is rotten. <clears throat> it was five minutes ago, you twit. Uh... Hmm. Please spare me. I'm not a murderer, I'm not. And I've never known the pleasures of a woman. Or a proper eating apple. Quiet, you. Ah! <coughs> Yeah, there's cheese in my eel pie. This week in our summer hanging series, we're pleased to present the mutton chop murderer. At last, God-fearing Londoners are free to walk whore alley. Stay your hand, Inspector. That man is innocent. The murderer's blade is covered with blood, but the handle is covered with something else. The unmistakable fragrance of eel pie. Hey, lots of people like eel pie. Yeah? Well, how many of them have mutton chops? And why can't you be more like Eddie? He never says a word against me. Well, that's because you cut out his tongue. He's right, Eve. Inspector Wiggum, you are the most famous member of Scotland Yard. Why would you do this? Well, the fact is, I wanted to come up with a case even you couldn't solve. And besides, so long, you stupid British twitch! Oh! You'll never touch me! I'm traveling at the speed of wind! <laughs> Remember me for my police work and not the murder! Well done. Their fleet is destroyed. <laughs> Daddy, I had the craziest dream. Ralphie, you're still in it. I have a serious brain disease. Please give me a cat. <laughs> this comically large capsule has lifetime supplies of niacin, thiamin, and riboflavin. Flavin. Prior to ingestion, the pill must be reduced by my amazing new shrink ray. Shrink ray? Oh, there's always something else to buy. First, I lower the capsule top, thusly. Then I zap the capsule, thisly. 
And now, who would like a lifetime of perfect health? I'll take it. No, that, that's not... Well, all right. <laughs> that sounds like Maggie, but she's right here. I... <laughs> now, now, don't worry, my dear woman. She will be rocked gently to sleep by the stomach acid. <laughs> Hold on, Maggie. Daddy's coming. Come on. I got her. Oh, man. No, wait. This is yours. Your daughter has 30 minutes before the acid dissolves the capsule. But we can rescue her by sending a miniaturized vessel through Mr. Burns' body. Oh, stop that. The felt is slicing through me like a knife. Bionauts, assemble. Captain! Science officer! Security! Marge! Now I insist you take off your shoes when you get inside. And uh, while you're in there, grab as much cancer as you can. Let the commencement begin, you like. Enter the subclavian vein. Screw you, Doc. I fly from the gut. Dad, you should listen to him. He's a man of science, and you can barely read. Bruh. Has science ever kissed a woman, or won the Super Bowl, or put a man on the moon? This is what I think of your precious science. You <laughs> Help me, science! <laughs> Your ship is wedged in Mr. Burns's heart, and you must dislodge it from the outside. But watch out for retroviruses. Oh, boy, are they retro. It's a fun design by R. Crumb, who is friends with Harvey P. Carmed. Seriously, though, touch one and you're dead. <laughs> Why is my swimsuit so revealing? Marge, that's what turns a mediocre voyage into a fantastic voyage. <laughs> Maybe this will help. Where'd you get that rib? There's a whole rack of them over there. I only ate two. <laughs> Bart, what are you doing? Taking a whiz. Stop that. We're guests in Mr. Burns. To get Maggie in time, we'll have to catch a ride on a nerve impulse. The body's information superhighway. Learning is cool. Yeah! And to make sure we get there super fast, I'm hitting all the buttons with my palm. <laughs> well, that hurt like hell. Just a baby. <laughs> I'm afraid I have some bad news, um, Simpsons. Uh, with the baby's extra weight, you don't have enough power to make it back. And one of you must stay behind to save the rest. Frank out. Oh, my God! This is the worst Halloween horror we've ever faced! And my blood cells are attacking my clothes! Although I must admit, they know where to stop. Well, I have to lighten the ship, which means one of us has to stay behind. Bart? Lisa? Find me. Don't worry, we'll be fine. I'm saying goodbye to everything I ever loved. Oh, a marshmallow! <laughs> Boy, when God closes a door, he opens a window. <laughs> Did you have to fly out through all those boogers? Cut me some slack. I'm a widow. Now, there is still a slight chance we could rescue your husband before he expands. Ah, <laughs> uh, make that zero chance. Frank out. Dad, would you like some of my Snicker Bar cheesecake? Do I feel full enough as it is? I stay when we're full. You don't want to piss off a man who can kick you in the crotch from the inside. I need a mouth hole. Um, and some other holes, too. Cheer up, my chubby inner...